Hello and welcome to the Random Bros. In today's episode, we converted our Render 3 printer into a CNC machine. Before you hit the dislike button, let me explain. After we accidentally destroyed all the electronics on it and it was too far gone, it was more cost effective to buy another printer, so with all its remains, we tried to convert it into a CNC machine. You may recognize a different voiceover, it's because I am the other random bro. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. After salvaging almost all of its parts, even some screws to keep the cost as low as possible, we head out and bought some additional parts, like a drummer, two GT2 pulleys, lead screw, an Arduino Uno, CNC shield, some drivers, a couple of screws and some bearings. And then we were ready to start creating our very own CNC machine. The next part was to figure out the design. So then we started printing and printing and printing even more. Yes, we had a lot of printing. And now that's the assembly part. And while you watch us assemble the frame, let me tell you more about this channel as it may get confusing in the near future. We are two brothers, both studying engineering and both of us have passion on photography and mainly scuba diving. So expect this channel to revolve around those majors. For the scuba family, we will have videos regarding the part of photography and videography as soon as the weather allows it. And in the near future, some in-depth reviews of side mount, back mount and more scuba gear in general. But for the engineering community, we will provide you with videos like this one and some even more interesting ones. Since we had touched everything, we checked that every individual part worked as intended. To attach the securing clamps that hold the part in place, we used some wood threaded inserts. All the axes work freely and we are ready to test out our machine's capability. The 3D printed clamps are in place and the cutting begins. Our main goal for this machine is to cut aluminum so we didn't even try it wood. We forgot to buy some proper coolant for the bead, so we just used some soap water. Our first samples look awfully ugly, but we only stop when we succeed. Thanks a lot for watching today's episode of The Random Bros and feel free to leave us a comment below.